Okay, so we have got a BM528i uh, in at the minute. I miss firing rough running one of uh, my pals. So I've looked at it, um, had a quick preliminary look. Um, cylinder 6 was just shooting out fuel, so I threw an injector in it. Unfortunately, it's still the same. Uh, and he's off on all day, so I'm going to have a look. All the cores are unplugged from where he's been working on it, things are in bits. And it's had no injector there on number 6. So, um, he did have a quick look before he went away and thought the resistance of the new injector was incorrect compared to the others. What I am going to do is just scope them. I'm wondering if the ECU is just firing the injector or what, because apparently you put the ignition on, if you take the spark plug out, it just shoots petrol through. Um, so we're going to see if it's an ECU for quickest, easiest, well, my mind, the easiest way is rather than taking a whole lot off and taking it apart and then putting it back together just to scope it is take all this off, gets the ECU and pin it out directly there just to see what the ECU is telling the injectors to do Right, but now we've got to our ECU just find out which pins operate the injectors, do what and we'll scope it So I was going to use a scope um, but, well, we don't need to and a lot of people don't have scopes and this is, for some people it will be easier So what I've done is I made the red one the one we've got an issue with, injector six, and that's uh, one and two, just for a reference. There is our voltage, and we know we have our permanent feed is a shared permanent feed for all the injectors, the others aren't messing up, so it just doesn't eliminate, but it makes it less likely to be an issue with the permanent feed, so we've got the switched. So if I pop this into number one that we know is good, and read flicks the ignition on, we get four-ish volts there, that's fine. Number two, which we know is good, we get the same. The bad one, number six. Uh-oh, something's telling it to stay open. The next port call will be just to unplug them and make sure it's still doing the same with them unplugged. Uh, and then pull the ECU apart, see if we've got an injector driver we can maybe replace. All right, so, this is on. Uh, rail is unplugged. And we have got... Good one. Good one, dead one. Let's pull the ECU apart. So we've got the ECU out, uh, which is there. Um, now, so we know that on block C, terminal 38, which is the second one in, second row down, is uh, injector driver cylinder six. A lot of stuff has continuity with a lot of other stuff that I wasn't expecting. Um, what I did also discover though, is that if we go onto the back here that one there is our dodgy one these are our good ones and this one here our cool attempt sensor circuit they are for some reason linked they are circuited together which ain't right something's gone wrong in here and do you know what i've been messing around with it for a little while you know it's not driving the injector um so Let's see if we can get a second hand ECU and clone it. If I can't clone it, uh, just swap the chip over. Um, should be fine. <sighs> I'm just loading up. Uh, well, I'm loading first, MPPS first, just to see if I can clone it. But I'm having some <laughs> computer issues. This is my second laptop I've just fired up, and neither of them are playing ball at the minute. Anyway, see how we go. 